Hey everybody and welcome to Kaiser Punk. The demo from Scene Next Fest. This is an alpha demo of a different type of strategy game that I'm not quite sure what it's all about, quite honestly. I've watched some videos of it and I still don't quite know what this thing is all about, so I figured why not try it out for myself. So we're going into this kind of blind. I've watched enough videos to know uh, I, it's something I want to try at least, so we're going to see what this is all about. So if you're new here, make sure to subscribe, turn on the notification bell, do all that sort of stuff to be notified of new videos every day at 1 p.m. Eastern. I do a variety of things here. Uh, so yeah, let's dive into Kaiser Punk to start a new game. Redefined is the only thing we have, so we're going to run through the tutorial. Uh, let's do Heritage Industrial Powerhouse. Why not? City name, Newton Falls. And we'll make our name Ethan Coleman. I'm not going to do too much in terms of creation and customization with this. Because, I mean, come on. It's a demo. I'm not going to be able to transfer... I'm not going to choose to transfer this if I can. Because it's going to be a while before I can play it again. So, yeah. That's kind of where my mind is. With that being said, let us begin. So I'll be right back once this has fully loaded and we can get into things. In the early 20th century, the world was consumed by the flames of an unending conflict. The Great War, which was expected to draw to a close, instead spiraled into an abyss of perpetual warfare. The hopes for peace and restoration shattered as the envoys of the Versailles Peace Treaty were brutally assassinated, plunging the world into further chaos. As the years rolled on, the global stage transformed into a battleground where nations fought relentlessly, their war machines fueled by unquenchable thirst for power and dominance. Monarchies and empires, once pillars of strength, crumbled under the weight of constant warfare and the shifting tides of history. A battalion of battle-weary soldiers, having deserted the relentless conflict, returned to their once familiar land, only to discover a haunting sight, a desolate wasteland of ruins. Amidst the crumbling remains of a nation, they encounter the lingering echoes of war, grappling with the ghosts of their past and the harsh realities of a world forever changed. Undeterred, they rally together, fueled by a resilient spirit to rebuild not just their lives, but also their shattered nation. Okay, there's kind of your backstory. Some scumbags have dug in, but I think we can take them. They don't really scream experience. We could use the place to rest and recover. Maybe even for a season. Big boom. So many big booms. Every journey starts with a, with a single step. It's not much, but it's a start. The battalion has expelled the violent brigand from the local church and established a headquarters there. Before we do that, we're going to run into the menu and turn down a couple of things. The menu's very, uh, Very responsive, I like it. Okay, so let's see. Click the start event. It's a rather bleak world, at least in the beginning, but you're certain you'll turn it around. Especially with the hope or the help of the diligent citizens of your city state. Now that you've taken over the local church and set it up as your base of operation, let's take a few minutes to become familiar with the interface and your surroundings. It's difficult to do something with nothing, but we can use the ruins to our advantage. If we send our boys to clear the rubble, 
We'll salvage some resources and make some room while we're at it. Two birds, one stone. I guess we start with the Times Square. Use WASDA to move the camera around the map. Or do this. Use Q and E to rotate. Or hold that. Use this button to zoom in and out. That's a little too un that's a little too quick response for me. Use the mouse to left click with interrupt uh use the mouse left click. This was a weirdly worded thing. To interact with objects in the world. You'll encounter many reminders of the devastation, and most of these can be salvaged for use of resources and or other rewards or even repaired. Once repaired, you're able to move them around like any other building. Nice little aerial shot of the repairs going on here. Log, salvage the Times Square once it actually fully loads. Within several weeks, almost half of the ruined village was cleared yielding a trove of valuable resources and land cleared of obstacles for further instruction. Meanwhile, battalion members will take on the task of scouting the area and vigilance against would-be enemies to ensure the safety of the fledgling community. Job's done. Some civilians who were hiding in the ruins joined us too. We should consider providing some housing or our people will start falling ill. Two small blocks to kick things off in the right direction. Either or with this stupid volume, man. I don't like it. I turned it barely down and it sounds like I turned it down all the way. Okay, let's try this again. Build two laborer houses. With a sigh of relief and joy, members of the battalion and some of the local civilians who joined you Welcome to com completion of the first houses. Many more will be needed sooner rather than later, but it's a welcome sight nonetheless. The first houses have been built. They're not the best, but they'll do. At least they're dry and warm, which can't be said for the pathways. The smart choice is to clear out some roads. Nothing fancy. A simple clear dirt road will do for now. At least it'll prevent some injuries. One more little change to the um, settings real quick. It looks like the video settings are a little choppy still. Yeah, that's because we're on Ultra. Development threshold reached. You have made significant progress in a development branch and have unlocked new possibilities. Connect the houses to the town center. Your new capital may be emerging from war and destruction, but that is no excuse for chaos. A good road network connecting every nook and cranny will ensure the township evolves properly and in order. Now that you have the first pioneers living in your capital, it's time for the battalion to step down. From now on, salvage or repairs will have to be handled by your citizens. This is a hell of a start, but we won't be able to feed everyone by scavenging for moldy bread and rotten vegetables. We're barely scraping by for food and more refugees appear every day. We have to start producing some food or our small community won't last long. The good side is that most of the battalion is far from the countryside. There are no strangers to farming and a simple vegetable farm will suffice. I didn't even get to finish reading that. What? Just 
throw this down. Let's see. Right there. Obviously, we need the roads. There we go. So the humble vegetable farm will become the cornerstone of the future of your entire nation, providing your people with the most basic of needs. It's a good start, but you're not there yet. The goods need not only be produced, they must also flow. It is time to set up the lifeblood of your up-and-coming capital. Production on the vegetable farm is underway. We should consider what to do with the produce. Just leaving it on the farm isn't a real option. A smarter approach would be to build a depot and let it take care of the logistics. Okay. We need a depot. We're going to do some rotation and let it kind of sit right there. We're going to put it across from the vegetable farm. And then let's get a road to do there. Awesome. The depot, more than likely the first of many, has dispatched its transporters. With good organization and a touch of luck, this is just the start of a future bustling economy. Brimming with goods being carried back and forth. Governor, what we've accomplished here in mere weeks is astonishing. But if this township is to go strong, we'll need more manpower. A larger workforce to handle all the production needed. Our scouts have reported finding more locals hiding among the ruins, but they won't join us if they have no place to stay. The best way to entice them to join us is to provide housing. More laborer houses. Let's get our uh, roads up. I'm doing a square kind of like I do in Anno. Because these always tend to work out for me. So why not keep going with it? With the small village beginning to take shape, our, your scouts are reporting new eyes shifting in your direction. Locals hiding from brigands are starting to notice your progress. You cannot be sure if they are to be trusted, but you also cannot afford to be picky. 30 laborers and 10 manufacturers. Another development threshold reached. With the small... Okay. Salvaging for materials can only get us so far. We cannot rely on scavenge parties to stumble on construction materials. We must produce these on our own. I suggest setting up the production of plywood. We have a production chain today. Forester produces wood, and it puts trees around it, which is awesome. I love that touch. We're going to rotate this, put it right here. Let's do it. go ahead and do some road connections. I'm going to go and click all the way out. What the frick? Okay, I need to connect the roads up now. That messed me up so hard. Self-sustaining production of plywood makes the marks a pivotal moment in your fledgling capital. You're no longer relying on scavenging like a nomad or animal. It's a significant step forward, but only one of many to follow. Let me place this down. Thank you. Oh, crap. Um, 
Demolish. Now there's a depot nearby. Not connected to the town center. Yes, it is. Don't gaslight me. It is. I'm interested to see how this game goes, for sure. But I have to say, it's a even choppy on high. Do some more settings changes. That is making no difference whatsoever. Yeah, that's interesting. I'm getting some reports of some less than flattering words directed at you, Governor. Did they call me stupid or something? It seems the civilians aren't pleased with their end of the bargain. It's somewhat understandable since we're basically asking them to live off vegetables alone and not much else. We might have to look into producing at least some wheat bread to supplement their meals. Okay, we got that, and we're going to rotate this out this way, and then we'll do our road stuff real quick. There we go. The laborers seem pleased that you've heard them and responded, which is of course great, though I have my doubts that we'll have similar luck with some other groups that might wander into our little town. A stable production of bread, perhaps the simplest yet so essential resource, will help in the short term, but those are just the basics. Before long, your citizens will require and request more. Let's run to the world map. Can't access the world map until you have one army. Well, I think for now, we're going to go ahead and wrap up. So if you enjoyed this video of Kaiser Punk, I'm sorry for the lag. You saw me try to fix it, and it's just quite not in the cards yet still performance i'm not discounting it because it's a de I'm, I'm i'm kind of gonna let them work it's a demo still got work to do as an indie team from what i know so i give them benefit of the doubt uh love the content though very anno meets uh even some manor lords ideas in here i see the production change of something like workers and resources in here um, I see a lot of different city builders, um, inf influence in this, and I'm really excited to see where this thing goes. So, yeah, that's going to do it. I'll see you next time for something else from Steam Next Fest, but that's going to do it. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.